Greetings my esteemed subscribers. Today I thought to share some of my great wisdom. I thought to chime in to the discussion regarding incels. Now I'm sure you've seen and heard many guys claiming to be experts on how to be popular among women or how to gain women or whatever it might be. I am not one of those guys. I will actually tell you to stop thinking about women. So I'm not gonna talk about how you can be oh so popular with the ladies. I'm gonna talk to you about, I'm going to recommend you, I'm going to recommend that you stop thinking so much about women. Now, as I said, I'm no Casanova, I don't know the minds of all women, but I can only suppose that it is supremely unattractive with a man or a young man or a guy who goes around worrying about what women will think of him. Now, before I begin to elaborate on my thoughts, I will say though that you should think about you should care about what others think of you when it comes to how you present yourself. So be as... Do look as good as possible. Be as well trained as possible. Be well dressed, be well groomed. Uh, take care of your hygiene. And above all else, make sure to be socially uh, pleasant. Socially, socially skilled. So you have those things in place. But beyond that, if you go around trying to appease women, having that as your goal, to be approved by women, that is a... it's a faulty hierarchy in a more reasonable and traditional society. You look to the other men of your tribe for approval, primarily the older men of the tribe those are the ones you want to impress and who you seek approval from. Now if you seek approval from some loose women, because the women who use the term incel, they aren't... How shall we put this diplomatically? They aren't perhaps the best of women. They aren't perhaps the women who would make for good uh, wives and mothers. Um, so, you know, if you get upset by some uh, modern woman calling you an incel, um, yeah, it's not too much to worry about. Um, so, if you go around viewing yourself in that way, that you base your identity upon the fact that you can't gain sexual access to loose women, I mean, that's not a good way to view yourself or to view the world. And I can only suppose that women will pick up on it as well, that they see, okay, this guy, he views me as an authority. And of course that's not particularly attractive in terms of hierarchy either. Instead, focus more on my teachings. Focus less on women and more on my teachings. Some people might say that I'm arrogant, that I have a big ego. I don't have a big ego, I have a big heart. And I care about you, that's why I say it. I want you to have a good and happy life. I don't want you to go around being sad for the fact that you... To use the terminology of the normies, that you aren't getting laid. I uh, try to meet the normies halfway by using their lingo. Anyway, point being, I don't want you to spend or waste time identifying as something that isn't really all too impressive. Now, I've met many impressive men over all these years because of the various situations and uh, contexts I've been in. Uh, none of them have uh, cared all too much if they are attractive to women. They have been attractive to women precisely because they haven't thought about it, because they are pursuing their own goals, because they are concerned with other ideals than what a modern woman will think is sexy in them. It's uh, unworthy, it's cringeworthy. All men, if you think this way, please stop. I implore you, please stop thinking in these terms. No, in terms of your happiness, your quality of life. Imagine if you are a 
23 year old guy who isn't currently getting any access, sexual access. Um, you can either go around lamenting this fact, thinking about it, oh, life is so bad, I can't get this. And then if you constantly focus on the things you don't have, yeah, then you will not enjoy life as you should. Instead, if you think this isn't really a concern for me, and yes, I understand it's easy to say that, oh, you shouldn't think about sex or women or whatever, but the strong of you, at least, you can do this. And if you can turn that energy into something productive, then you will prosper. It's ancient knowledge. Ancient esoteric knowledge right here. So anyway, then a few years go by, the 23-year-old guy is suddenly, uh, I don't know, a few years older at least, and he finds someone who will become his wife. Then the problem has been solved. And he has been happy that he didn't worry all too much about it, but instead that he pursued his own goals. Now, related to this is a great lie of our modern era, and that is that you need to have sex. Now, if you are in a loving relationship, it's all good, then of course you should have and enjoy it as a natural part of life. Sex is good, it's something that God, Mother Nature has given us to enjoy. So this is not some religious life-denying attitude towards sex. This is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you don't have, if you currently don't have access, sexual access, then don't think, oh, this is something I really, really need in my life. This is something I must have, because it's really not. Especially if you know that sooner or later you will have it, so it's not so, so it's not something you worry about. The things you need is to be out in nature, to get some sun, to train, to eat well, to have good friends. Good friends, more important. This is perhaps a topic for another video. That instead of focusing so much about on women, focus more on how to find friends, how to be a good friend. You need camaraderie. This is perhaps even more important in this day and age when many guys feel alone. Find friends before you start worrying about women. So if you think, oh, I'm missing sexual access in my life, but then you don't have any male friends, yeah, find the friends first. Then you start worrying about things that are farther away in, the, um, in terms of importance. Sex you can have later. You absolutely don't need to have sexual access at this particular moment, especially not if you're a younger guy. One thing if you get to the age of uh, marriage and having children and uh, stuff like that, it's a different situation, but if someone says to you that if you don't have sexual access at all times you are, you are bad and you're doing it wrong, it's not true at all. It's nothing impressive by uh, living that sort of lifestyle and it won't make you more impressive, it won't give you more opportunities later on. Uh, so keep that in mind. Again, if you if you believe this lie that as a young man you need to follow your urges and you need to have sexual access. If you don't, you're bad. If you choose to listen to those people, then it's not good. Instead, listen to me always. Listen to me when I say that. Don't worry about it. I'm not saying don't worry about it as some sort of um, hippie nonsense. I'm saying it because it's true. I'm saying it because I want you to focus on finding friends, creating yourself into a higher being, focusing on your own goals. If you want to find happiness as a man, then you have to find a purpose and a quest. And then you spend every waking hour focusing on how to reach your goals. That is your focus. Now to end this video, I will paraphrase a section from Bronze Age Mindset. And that's basically a chimp in nature does not play with himself, so to speak, because there is no time. He is too occupied with mastering space, mastering himself. Only a chimp in captivity will do these sort of things. You can view it in the same sense, both when it comes to, well, playing, both when it comes to touching yourself and to you know, sexual access out of a loving relationship. Um, you can view it in the same way that those things 
they aren't only a waste of time, more importantly, they are a waste of vital energies within you that you can use for a higher purpose. So anyway, something to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, those were my thoughts for today. Thank you for watching. Do read Dauntless. Check out all links in the description box below. XXO. Boom.